two on sulfides and native metals. And we're looking at the crystal structure of sulfides. And we'll see two examples. Sphalerite and chalcopyrite and many other sulfides use a diamond-like structure. In diamond, all the atoms are carbon and each atom is coordinated with four others in tetrahedral coordination. In sphalerite, half of the carbons are replaced by zinc and the other half by sulfur. Zinc has a plus two charge, sulfur has a two minus charge. On the left, you can see the dark gray is zinc over here and the yellow is sulfur over here. So each one of those is in tetrahedral coordination and the zinc sulfur bond is shown here and they align as a face centered cubic uh, crystallography. On the right is chalcopyrite. In this case, the unit cell is doubled along the uh, C axis, so it's a tetragonal mineral. And alternate metal sites are replaced by copper and iron. So on the left, zinc filled all the metal sites. Over here, some half are formed by, filled with copper, shown in orange, and half with iron, shown in blue. Again, you can see the uh, crystal structure allows you to see tetrahedral coordination for both the iron and the copper, as well as for sulfur. Now we're going to go to pyrite, which is a slightly more complicated mineral, and it has much higher, stronger bonds. And you can see this one is uh, on the left, shows us what the crystal structure of pyrite looks like. The blues are iron and the sulfurs are yellow. Each one of the sulfurs is paired with a second sulfur. And that is a double bond where the sulfurs share electrons. And at each end, the sulfur is bonded to an iron. That's shown here on the right. You can see iron, which is the dark gray. It's in uh, octahedral coordination with six different sulfurs and the sulfur is linked with uh, one uh, other sulfur here and then linked again with octahedrally coordinated irons. So this is a very different type of crystal structure. In summary, both pyrite and sphalerite exhibit isometric or, or uh, crystal system structures. They're very symmetrical, they're simple, closest packing systems, and they result in very uh, stable bonds. Thank you.